every time I look at that Pui Pui in the corner, I think he's T-posing. I don't know why. The game starts off right where the base game ended, where Goku and Kibu fight in this paused moment in time type of thing they got going on. Hmm. I can stun his ass. Oh, he's stunned. He's definitely stunned. Got him. I am, Goku. When he has Benny coming out, bro. Look at that. Freaky. Here I'm. It's gonna reach him. It's so... Oh! Spit. Oh, he split. I thought it said spit. No way, bro. Are you gonna stand there and take... I can't move? Oh, you know what? Oh my god! <gasps> I think I killed somebody. Oh, that was the main one? I didn't even know. Killed it though. Now let's get back to summoning the spirit bomb. If you're hearing this right now, this is very quiet because they decided to play We Got a Power in the middle of this. Just know that he was trying to push it back and Goku put it into it. As Beerus would say, mm, bye bye. After defeating Kid Buu with the Spirit Bomb, a technique that Goku learned from Future Trunks when he saw him save his future all those years ago, all was well in the world for a good 10 years, until the day of the tournament. You there, got a question for you. Do you think you're strong enough to take on the world's martial arts champion, Mr. Satan? I'm taking on any and all challenges. I'll be waiting in this year's world tournament, so come and test your medal. <laughs> it's the world tournament. Get ready. The action starts tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Satan is the same as ever. Looks like it's about time. <laughs> hey, Grandpa! Oh? <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> ah, look who it is! Hold on, what are you doing up so early, Pan? Sorry, but I just couldn't wait to see you, Grandpa! I see. Chi Chi, who doesn't look a day over 62 oh my, has asked Goku to get fish for breakfast. Fish for fish for breakfast? And only fish too? Well whatever. An age of progress. Prelude to a new battle. Fish live in water. Why don't we look for a river? She said this last time, and I was like, no shit. <laughs> Goku and Pan go to the nearest river, put the Saiyan tail on which looks to be the most efficient way to fish because Goku catches these fish one after another in quick succession. After catching the fish and doing this as well, D-Metal. Oh shit. I think I fucked up the property value we just had on the house. We arrive back at Goku's house where he senses some distant energy. There's no doubt about it. I've been waiting years to fight him again. Awesome. It looks like he's heading to the arena. <laughs> but he can't worry about that now. Man's gotta eat. Is that all we're eating, by the way? Goku then tells the whole family that he's thinking about joining the world tournament. Chi Chi is confused and tries to figure out why Goku would join. Oh, I get it. You're after the prize money, aren't you? Not at all. I don't care about money. Goku's real reason for joining is to fight a special someone. And I'm not trying to spoil, but if you know, then you know that this special someone ends up doing absolutely nothing when Toei or Akira Toriyama, rest his soul, uses him. I mean, we got Maju, which is cool. I guess. And then he did come in clutch against Baby, so I'll give him a slight W for that. But anyways, Goku wanted to join Psyched Up Pan to want to join as well. And then Videl says, Now, Pan, this isn't pretend fighting, you know. Well, no shit. To be honest, if anyone knows it's not pretend, then it's definitely you. That was uncalled for. I, I apologize. Pan is so excited that she tries to get everyone to join. Then she turns to Goten who was minding his own business to be honest. Didn't have to call my dog out like that. Turns out he has a date plan. Well, that's too damn bad. Well, 
I'm sure you can reschedule it to another day. The tournament only comes around once a year. Well, I think it's a fantastic idea. You haven't been getting enough exercise lately, Goten. Oh, nah. Chi Chi is agreeing with him? That is crazy. She must be in that if you can't beat him, join him phase. After forcing Goten to go train with them, he pulls a third grade tactic on his dad and niece. He tells them he forgot something, and they actually believe him. Sure. Don't take too long, okay? You got it. <laughs> We're on to the training grounds, where we start our sparring metric pan. Grandpa, let's get started already. You're ready to get your ass beat, aren't you? <laughs> Looks like someone's raring to go. I don't condone this, by the way. She was not ready for this fight. She got Kyle Ken? You know what? Get three those. I wanna be strong, just like you, Grandpa. Well, get in line. Come on, knock her out. Free mode. Easy. Alright, Goku. Calm down. Bo didn't see finish on the screen. We decimate Pan. Decimate is a crazy word to use. I apologize. And now Goku finally understands that he has been played. So they both fly back, look at him, and confront Goten. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I can't let Dad hear me. So what is it that you don't want me hearing about? Come on, Goten. What's the holdup? I want to train some more and get stronger with you. So did you end up finding what you were looking for? Goku, he was looking for his confidence. It's not there. It's been a while since you last fought, hasn't it? Let's train a little. Shake off the rust, huh? What do you say? Nah, I think I'm good. Besides, other than you, I doubt anyone there could beat me anyway. Oh, really? You seem pretty confident there. Why don't you prove it? Uh, I don't feel like it right now. Also, I still have to do that thing, so maybe next time. Well, I'm sure you can do whatever it is another time. Yeah, I can even help you out later, too. Oh, don't worry. I can take care of it myself. That's enough stalling. Come on, Goten. Let's get going already. All right, Goten. The greatest cop blockers of all time will always be your family. So now, with the three of them back, where Pan and Goku fought earlier, it's time to scrap with Goten. But that leaves Pan with nothing to do. That's when Goku comes up with a plan for her to practice flying. He tells her to do one lap around the world. Does she have the key control to be doing that, Goku? Whatever. With her gone now, Goku can fight Goten. She just keeps on getting stronger and stronger. But now it's your turn. Better take this seriously, or you might get hurt. Uh, fine, but go easy on me. Get him. Ah! What are you doing, Goten? You can't show up to the world tournament like this. Ooh, Come on, you're still moving pretty slowly. I've been fighting tough opponents my entire life. This is just another day for me. Nigga, who? So, ah, damn. Uh, why do you always go so hard on me, Dad? I don't want you to be your best. I can't help you be your best, man. You do know how to counterattack, don't you? <laughs> Maybe I took things a little bit too far. No, you good. With the beating, let's not use beating. With the discipline fused into Goten now, he decides it's time for a break. Just then. Why does Vegeta like he's in the back seat of a- I don't understand. He is in the back seat. One of these days, the shoe's gonna be on the other foot. Yeah, it's not gonna be anytime soon though. <laughs> Here comes Boma and Vegeta, individuals that Goku apparently haven't seen in five years. It's been five years! And I thought I was bad. Goku tells them about his plan to join the tournament, and he gives the invite to Vegeta as well. There's this guy who signed up to fight yesterday, and I think he might be really strong. Really? You think I would sense a spirit like that? <laughs> you yeah, you're not strong enough. If he wasn't suppressing his energy. No, this guy's something else. We may have a challenge on our hands. Is he an alien? Nope, this guy's an Earthling. An Earthling? Wait, do you mean he's some kind of android, Kakarot? Nope, he's 100% human. Uh, Vegeta, if he is an android, how would I be able to sense his energy? Vegeta. Come on, bro. Trunk spawns in. Damn, we got the whole Vegeta bloodline here. Mine is Bra. Bulla. I don't know her name. Now Trunks, hey is for horses. Yeah, there you are, Goten. I thought that you'd be trained. Man did not care what she just said to him. Pan comes back from her trip around the world. What was that, like five minutes? And tells everyone she's joining too. This makes Vegeta want to join, 
and then he pretty much forces Trunks into participating. If you refuse, you can say goodbye to half your weekly allowance. Which seeing as his mom is like the owner of Castle Corp, that allowance is probably crazy as it is. But that's just speculation. But with that being said, both parties leave the training ground and head back to their desired homes. Arriving home, Chi Chi is upset because she tried calling Master Roshi but he didn't answer, wondering if he's okay and wanted to tell him about the tournament and see if he wanted to go. This makes Goku decide to go check up on his master himself. You should stay home and rest up. I want you to be in tip top shape for tomorrow. Aww. Fine then. Hurry back, okay? Right. I'll be home before you know it. Look, you're about to walk over there. You have instant transmission. Did you forget how to use it? You know what? It don't even matter, bro. After flying to Kamen House, what the fuck? He goes to check up on Roshi, who was surprisingly not inside. Goku talks to Roshi about the tournament, and him talking about it seems to unlock a memory for Roshi. <sighs> that brings me back. I remember the first time you fought in that competition all those years ago. You decided to dress up in a wig and kick my ass? As I recall, you couldn't take the championship in the end. I'm betting it was a humbling experience for you and Krillin. This man think he's a hot shit. Fight me now. Yeah, I wonder what the old coot who beat me is up to nowadays. I forgot Goku's stupid, he doesn't know who it was. I would've, I would've said, maybe you should've said it. Maybe you should've told him that yeah, it was me. But then again, Non Goku would've been like, I ain't gonna lie. Run me that fade, Batman. Goku invites him to swing by and watch them compete. Although, whenever we have a world tournament, something outlandish always seems to happen. I wonder what it'll be this time. <laughs> wow, that's actually true. Give him hell, Goku. You bet, Master Roshi. After walking around and finding items that should have never been found, we head back home. Returning home, Goku tells Chi Chi the good news. Chi Chi suggests that Goku should go to bed early so he can be at the tournament arena early. I fucked that up entirely, but I'm going to keep that in the video. <laughs> then Chi Chi says this. I still need to get ready, though. I have no idea what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Will you help me decide, Goku? Huh? Hmm? Uh, it's not like you'll be fighting in the matches. I mean, does it really matter? What did you just say? Huh? No, nothing. Nothing at all. That's what I thought. Anyway, I better get ready. Go ahead and say I'm reading too much into it, but think about this. If Chi Chi needed some actual help to find out what to wear, why would she look at Goku and ask him? Let's be honest here, let's be honest. Look at what this dude wears every day. The next day, I'll just let the cutscene play out. Wow, this place is really packed, isn't it? This feels less like a tournament and more like a festival. The Oz King is still alive? <laughs> the world tournament begins. Goku is unstoppable. 